Hi everyone, my name is Chantel and welcome back to another video. Today it's time for the third Harry Potter Matchbox Diorama. If you haven't seen the other two yet, please check them out in the link below or the iCard section. Let's see what the next prompt is. That's the first two. How about this one? The Great Hall. That's very exciting. So let's get into it. As always, I start by creating the matchbox. You can find the website and the measurements I put in in the description box below. I then cut out watercolor paper to fit inside the matchbox. I am going to use, going forward, this palette that I hand mixed, which is Winsor & Newton Professional Watercolors. I have decided on this because the colors are so beautifully muted and it fits in really well with the Harry Potter aesthetic. So here you can see me sketching out the tables for the Great Hall. I sketched out everything in pencil first then go over with the watercolors and then I line everything. I like lining my watercolor paintings after painting. I don't know why, it, it just works out that way, I suppose. Here you can see me doing the details of the floor and then I move on to the actual flat bit of the floor that's sitting in front of the background. And of course we cannot forget the house point counters that I'm drawing out in the far right corner. And then finally some wall details and some arches. And onto the watercolor painting, I started by putting a very light layer of grey on the floor that is sitting in front of the background and on the floor itself in the background and then go over it with a very light brown which I'm also adding to the background. Throughout these whole series of the Harry Potter matchbox series and also the dioramas that I'm gonna do in the future every other month, you will see a lot of browns and grays and all those kind of colors. If you would like a break from that, let me know and I'll try to do a more colorful diorama in the next month. And here you can see me going in with the black fine liner to add in all the black details. I want to thank everyone who has voted on my community tab for which 112 scale diorama I should do first. Hagrid's Hut and Honeydukes have been basically 50-50 on which one I should do first. I have decided, because this keeps going 33-32% on whatever you guys vote for, um, which is kind of funny to see. I have decided to go with Hagrid's Hut for the next month and Honey Jukes will come up this year as well. Now the background is done and we can move on to the next part. The next part being putting together the matchbox. Let me know in the comments down below which prompt you think I will draw out of the box for next month. Next, I glue the painted background into the matchbox. And of course, also the flooring. The sides of the matchbox I decide to keep fairly plain and simple, just some brick pattern and some a very light brown paint to match in with the background. And once they're glued in, I apply some more brown watercolor just to make them blend together a little bit more. Next, I am cutting out a circle out of very thick cardboard 
and then filing down the sides to make it round and cutting out some strips of paper because this is going to be a stool for the sorting hat. At first I wanted the tables to come out of the background but that didn't work for the perspective that I went for. Maybe this doesn't work for the perspective either but I went with it. Next up I'm making the sorting hat out of some brown polymer clay. I'm sculpting out a cone and attaching the cone to a flat round piece of clay and smoothing the edges together. And here I'm adding some details. As you know by now I like working on a little piece of glass if I can because you can just put this into a baking tray and pop that into the oven and your little pieces will stay safe. This is a banner I'm painting. Yes, it is the color of Gryffindor. I am not a Gryffindor myself. I am a Slytherin. But I just went with the maroon of Gryffindor. They're also highest in the house points, as you can probably see in the background. So there's that. And because they looked a little bit too plain, I'm just adding a little black line to the outside of the banners. Moving on, we are now at the front cover of the matchbox, which is the double doors that open up into the Great Hall. I'm drawing out the design in pencil first and include the arches around it as well as some little swirls in the top left and right corners and add some detail of the brick. I then cut out some little squares that I'm then gonna put onto the doors just to give it a little bit more dimension and then adding some details with my black fine liner and this is before I do the watercolors because it's on brown paper. colors I'm using for the door are a dark brown, a lightened brown, with, I, I lightened that up with white, and a grey. Have you ever been to Harry Potter world, or the Wizarding world as they call it? I would love to go with my family at some point, obviously not in the current world situation, but I would absolutely love 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 to go after cutting open the front doors this is what the cover looks like and now i'm just gonna glue it to the back because the great hall has these hanging lights from the side of the entire wall i created these little hooks and I tried to replicate these little hanging lantern things. It was hard to work with wire and polymer clay. So I made this kind of wire basket and inside that wire basket I put the black polymer clay as being the bowl. And after baking I put them in the diorama and this is what it looks like. Then finally, I am gluing the sorting hat onto the stool. So let's see what the final diorama looks like. And this is it for the third Harry Potter Matchbox diorama. It was one of the fastest ones I've created so far, but I really do like the painted background of the Great Hall and the sorting hat. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up, it really helps my channel out. Make sure to check out my socials, support me on Patreon and hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!